Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to ask, is it worth it? All right, so it's a beautiful morning. It's starting to turn a little bit more from winter into spring and it's a fantastic day. I thought I'd get out of the office a little bit, come outside a little bit today. So over the weekend, I was watching, or over last weekend, I was watching a video uh, where they would show clips of different, you know, one of these motivational ones. You see them all over the place. And it was showing some clips from Warren Buffett and he was talking about his investing strategy where he only invests in things that he knows really well. Things that he knows has a good chance of making a return, right? And I think, and, and I was watching this and like everything, I apply it to being an app developer because one of the things we do as app developers is we're constantly investing. I, I talked before a few years ago about how apps are, they're not just apps, something we do because they're fun, although sometimes we, we look at apps as an investment, right? If, if all the time and money I'm putting into this, am I gonna make that back at least break even or is it just gonna be a sunk cost, right? Yesterday I was talking to a salesperson it was like an ASO type of company. So I thought, you know, they, they, I get contacted by a lot of ASO companies and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, I might as well hear them out. So we had a quick chat and he was talking about some of the ASO strategies. I thought it sounded pretty good. All the different um, machine learning techniques they had and everything. I said, oh, that sounds, that sounds pretty good. But when we got to the price, it was like, it was like pretty high. Like it was like all of these kind of services, they're, they're really high. And the question I had in my mind, like I could do with everything else is, if I were to spend this much money, would I make the investment back? So if I just feel like, so this we're talking like, we're talking like nearly 10,000 pounds or 10,000, yeah, 10,000 pounds, it was a British company, right? So we're talking like nearly 10,000 pounds and I had to think, you know, if I spent 10,000 pounds and I got back 100,000, then yeah, that would be a no brainer. But the thing about investments is you never know, right? With EarSpy, I spent a couple hundred dollars, oh no, a couple, <laughs> a couple thousand dollars, right? Uh, you know, like, less than five thousand dollars for both the iphone and the I ios app right it was i i went really cheap right over the years i've added lots of stuff to it so you know it's constantly evolving and stuff like that but over the the last five years it's made what two hundred fifty thousand, something like that now i have other apps which i put a lot of time and more time and more money into which just went just went flat so it's constantly trying to think about this kind of stuff also today i have like a lot of interviews scheduled so you know i told you i was going to hire somebody i got a lot of interviews scheduled it's the same kind of thing my worry going into it is that am i going to make the return back if i hire someone are they going to double my productivity or are they going to have it is it going to be somebody who asks a lot of questions or is it going to be something that just like it's going to be it's going to be something that just adds another cost or is it something that's going to actually help the company grow it should i mean it should do the latter if i'm doing my job right and the thing about this is it's so hard to know for certain, right? If somebody, so like if I hire somebody, it's not as easy as if I hire somebody and I can bill out their time for more than they make. It's more like, can they release enough of my time? Can they make things run more smoothly? Can they help us increase our income going forward? And a lot of the type of things we invest in, there's no, sometimes, you know, the return we get back on them is not the route that we think. So like you learn a new technology, which helps you get a job that you weren't expecting to get. And then you learn a lot of other technologies which don't result in anything. So it's, it's always trying to, to produce and, you know, and I'll, I'm always thinking, and one of the reasons why I'm not further along in life than I should be is that I am a classic overthinker, right? I overthink everything. This, again, this is the reason why the overpass is still just me and my teams overseas is because I overthink everything, like I'm doing now. So anyway. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, do you, when you release an app, I know we, we talked about before it being, uh, being an investment, but you know, what was the big, let, let me just ask you this, and you don't have to say which app it was. You just give like a ratio if you don't want to give the, the actual uh, price back. But let me know, talking about the investment you made in an app, like your most successful, you know, how much have you invested into it and how much have you made back? I mean, for me, there's, there's apps, like I said, I haven't, made the, I haven't made back the initial investment but they're still on the market, they're still having downloads, they're still having purchases, there's still some tweaking that needs to be done, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just, I'm not saying like in the future what you're gonna have, but you know, what are some of the big benefits that you've had over the years? And uh, anyway, that's it for today. Hey, that's it for this week. I'll talk to you guys on Monday. As long as I'm still